That's right, and heat is the topic as we deal with this intense heat wave today. We are talking about ways to stay safe while working out during this extreme heat. I am joined by expert Dr. Amar Hassan from LSU House Shreveport on what precautions we should be taking while working out in this heat. Well, thank you, Dr. Hassan, for being here today. Sure. Let's go ahead and talk about what type of advice should we be adhering to when working out in these in the heat right now? Because so it's extreme. <laughs> So working out is important, right? So there's working out we do for exercise. They're working out that we have to do because it's work and we have no other option but to work, right? So what we need to realize is when we're going out in the heat, you know, our core temperature increases. And if we're not acclimated, meaning used to what, what's going on, then that could be life-threatening in, in a way. So what, what's the most important thing is to stay hydrated. Okay. Okay, we have to stay hydrated. We have to drink frequent uh, uh, water, right? Frequent water, frequent energy drinks because they have electrolytes in them. And Dr. Mar, yes. I'm gonna stop you right there before you keep going. Mm -hmm. um, would you suggest while people are running, because I know people go on long, you know, run around their neighborhood do should they be bringing those water bottles no matter what even yeah. though it's kind of annoying to have to run with one but definitely and if you have the water bottles with the mists a spray on them you can use those as well okay. uh, with a little fan on them that's that's good as well if you're running and it's really good because cardiovascularly we need to run and keep our heart pumping mm -hmm. uh, try to pick paths that have shades along the way and remember take frequent br breaks that's really important and know you can tell body. the difference too even just in shade versus you know in the sun and it's about what like a 10 degree difference it's right. substantial so um, what is the worst time to work out in the day for our people who do work out so uh, worst times is like from 10 a.m. to about 4 4 to 5 p.m. in the afternoon so you want to do it either early morning or late uh, evening times is the best time now speaking about working out um, go ahead and tell us a little bit about uh, what does heat exhaustion feel like if if one is out and about and they don't know if they're overheating at that time obviously we know when we're hot right but what is the difference between just being hot and and being, you know, overly excessively hot. Right. So there are different stages. There's uh, heat cramps that we initially get, and there's heat exhaustion. He heat exhaustion starts with mild, moderate, severe, and then we have heat stroke, which is the the worst form. We can get dizzy. We can get um, nauseated. We can get uh, cool, clammy skin. We can get um, we can feel like dehydrated and tired and fatigued. And as symptoms go on and you're not listening to your body, and if you do develop heat stroke, then you could even pass out. And um, your body gets deregulated, de, uh, meaning it can't control its temperature. And that's and where, that's it, gets where it's, it can be fatal, right? Yes. Okay, so um, let's talk about some ways then that we've talked about working out, how to recover after working out in extreme heat. So the best way is to know your body and know that you need to do things beforehand, afterhand, and during, meaning you can do pre-workout hydration, uh, making sure you're drinking plenty of water uh, during hydration. Even if you don't feel thirsty, make sure you're drinking every maybe 15 or 20 minutes or if less, you know, 20 ounces of water, seven to eight bottles of water, is is typical for you when you're doing more exercise it's common sense drink more water sure right uh, you also want to make sure that uh, you're wearing loose fitting clothes you're wear wearing light colored clothes because darker colored clothes uh, absorb the heat more uh, you want to make sure they're they're um, their dry wick kind of clothes that it you know you're able why to does that sweat. make such a difference uh because you know our body uh, releases heat and the more heat that's released and the more sweating that you do uh the better it regulates the system and uh, dr hassan do you have any other tips for us as far as just dealing with the heat in general yeah i want you to remember about um the more vulnerable populations like people over 65 years old little kids, even your pets, you know, they, they're not able to regulate heat as we are when we're younger. And, and remember, don't leave kids in the car, don't leave pets in the car, because in 10 minutes, that temperature rises 19 degrees, even if you crack a window open. So just don't do it. Uh, remember that you want to stay hydrated, you want to listen to your body the most it can. Uh, and if you're starting to develop heat-related illnesses or strokes, make sure you go to a cool area. Make sure you put, uh, go into a warm, uh, I mean, a cool 
ventilated area, take frequent breaks, sit in the AC if you have to, go into the library, maybe read a book in the library, go into a grocery store, sit in your car with the AC on, right? So, so listen to your body the most, and if it becomes that it's more related to a, a heat stroke type symptoms, get them into a cool area, get their clothing off. You can put um, um, uh, ice packs in their axillary region, in their groin region, around their neck, call 911 because the, the, the more we, we are taking care uh, of these emergencies, the sooner that people can um, get better. So you asked me the severity. So develop, de depending on the severity of things, like if it's uh, mild, moderate, severe, is how long the body takes for it to uh, recoup. And exercising is really important, but again, if we're in the heat, we're increasing our core temperature, we're making our heart pump more because of the heat. So we have to remember, uh, to listen to our body. All good tips, all good uh, advice. Thank you, Dr. Hassan, for being here today, for talking to us about working out and, and a bunch of other heat tips as well. We appreciate all of this advice. You're welcome.